I'd like to talk to you about our JD Edwards mobile applications for maintenance. Today we have mobile applications available for equipment, meter readings, work orders, service orders, time entry, and cases. These are native smartphone and tablet applications that require JD Edwards Apps Release 9.1. These native apps are available at no additional cost and are integrated with the mobile device features such as mapping, camera, GPS, voice to text, etc. In the first quarter of 2014, we released our first mobile applications. The ones indicated with a red arrow relate to maintenance, manage equipment, manage my work orders, quick case entry, and template meter reading. In April of 2014, we expanded our offering even more. The mobile maintenance apps in the first group with red arrows relate to capital asset management, create work order, equipment work order time entry, and review team work orders. The second group includes the case management mobile applications, and the last group includes the service management mobile applications. Let's take a look at our Manage My Service Orders companion applications. First we'll look at the tablet application Manage My Service Orders, which was designed for a field service technician to manage his service orders. This workbench style application provides a technician with a composite view of core service order information, parts, labor, notes, and photos. When the technician first logs in, the list of his service orders are displayed in the left-hand pane. The filter allows him to further narrow his search using start date, customer, status, priority, and service order number. The details for the selected service order in the right-hand pane are organized across four tabs, Service Order, Parts, Labor, and Notes. On the Service Order tab, key fields are presented in a simplified view. He can see maps of the site and customer locations. The Parts tab shows information about the parts assigned to the service order. Likewise, the Labor tab shows the routing or labor steps for this service order. The Notes tab provides a view of existing notes and allows for new notes to be entered. On the Service Order tab, the technician can update the status by touching the Advanced Status field, which shows the next available status from the Work Order Status Activity rules set up for the Service Order type. The actual finish date can easily be updated as well. From the Parts tab, Parts can be issued by touching the three little dots in the upper right corner and selecting Issue Parts. Photos can be viewed, added, and deleted using the Photos button in the lower right corner. Photos are shown for the service order as well as photos for the associated equipment on the service order but only the photos for the service order itself can be added or deleted. The Manage My Service Orders smartphone application is similar to the tablet application, but it doesn't have the parts and labor information. When the technician logs in, a list of his service orders are displayed. He can use the filter to further limit the service orders shown. He can select the service order from the list to drill down and look at the details. Information is displayed in two tabs, Order and Customer. From the Order tab, he can see key fields and access a map of where the equipment is located. On the Customer tab, he can see core information about the customer, place a call using the phone number displayed, or access a map of the customer site or customer address.
As with the tablet application, photos are available for both the service order and the associated equipment of the service order. Only the service order photos itself can be added or deleted. This concludes our tour of the Manage My Service Orders companion applications, a tablet version and a smartphone version, to allow a field technician to manage his service orders.